Hi, I am Kafri and this channel is about hula hooping. This is the third video from the Carefree Hooping series called Hashtag Hula Hoop is Joy, in which I have already presented you two tricks and today we will learn the third one, which is gonna be an element of the combination that we will do in the fourth video, okay? So stay with me through all this series, watch all the episodes and to be sure to not to miss any one of them, the best subscribe to the channel, okay? Today's video will be about hand spin, prayer hands transition one way and the other way as well and entering the weave. Okay, so grab your hoop and let's go. As in all the videos from this series, I will now give you a recommendation of a smaller hoop for this one. If you have a dance hoop, it will serve you good as well. But while performing the tricks on our hands, especially the hand spin, if you have a taped, big, heavy hula hoop, it can bring you a little harm. So if you are able to use a smaller hula hoop like this one, HDP, 70 centimeters, lightweighted hula hoop, then it's always better, okay? However, give it a try, you know? If you assume that it's not for the hoop you possess, take a break, okay? There will be more tutori tutorials on this channel. So before we enter the spinning, let's do a short warm up. okay? So drop your hoop to the ground and extending the arms, squeeze the invisible balls with your fingers. <laughs> I love this sentence about squeezing the invisible balls okay so you really want to extend the fingers and then squeeze them to make the blood circulation go on and increase in this zone okay we will be working with the hands okay now extend the arms to the sides and bend them in the elbows moving also your shoulders go outer direction okay away from your body do five of them and then change the direction towards your body, okay? Just to bring a mobility in this zone. Now squeeze the thumbs and make few spins to the back. Okay, stop and few five spins to the front. Okay, relax the arms, grab your hoop and let's go with the hand spin. There are three ways to begin the hand spin. You will Pull the hand in front of you, place the hoop on it, and the first way will be to swing it in a flat vertical plane from one side to the other. And with one harder spin, a harder swing, you will begin the spin. Then to continue the spin, you will lift the hand up and drop it down like you're shaking somebody's hand. It's not a circular motion, rather you're shaking somebody's hand up and down. Then place the hoop on it, begin the movement and continue. Okay, the second way to begin your movement will be to place the hoop again in the same first position and push it with the other hand, okay? And continue the movement. Third way is to grab a hoop, place it up and let it drop, okay? So, boom, and continue the movement, okay? Either you're, want to, you're willing to spin to the left or to the right, you can drop it both ways, okay, from this position. But for the needs of this video and for the needs of learning this today's trick, we will be spinning to the inner direction, okay? So I'm, if I'm spinning with the right hand, it will be towards the inside, so to the left. If I'm spinning with the left hand, it will be to the right, okay? So try it both arms, both hands. If you need more time, pause this video, take your time, learn it, and then we will go to, an, uh, to the next step. So I'm beginning with my right hand to the left. Okay, I'm stable with my hand spin. Then I will place the second hand inside to achieve a, a pose or a trick of prayer hands, okay? So together, very close and tightly together, I'm placing both hands inside the hip and continue the movement, okay? Not so much, not so strong as in the beginning, but I'm keeping the hoop spinning on both hands, okay? Then I'm taking out the first hand and I continue the movement on the opposite hand, okay? And this is our today's trick. 
one hand, prayer hand, second hand. Give it a try. Okay, maybe if you are left-handed, it will be easier for you to practice on the left hand. So either you're choosing the first, the second, or the, or the third way to begin it. You are spinning to the inner direction, so to the right with your left hand, placing the right hand inside, spinning together on both of them, and transitioning to the right hand. Okay, back. Now I've showed you both directions, both hands, so you should be able to do it quite easily, although I know it might be tricky if it's a totally new thing for your body and for your hands, okay? All right, so we have the transition, hand, prayer, hand, okay? Now we will focus on continuing the movement and a future transition into our final combo of this Hula Hoop Trick series, okay? So from the hand spin, we would like to enter into a weave or from the left hand, but spinning the other direction, we would like also to enter the weave. Okay, so how we do it? When you are spinning the hoop on your hand, like this, so you're performing the hand spin, there is a moment when the hoop is down here, okay? And you can even pulse a little with your body to feel the moment even more when the hoop is up, when it's down, okay? When you're down, <laughs> I hope you are not down, but when your hoop is down, you would like to open the arm, open the hand towards the sky, catch it, but without closing the hand tightly, okay? And begin the motion in your left direction with the right hand and in the right direction with your left hand, entering the weave. Okay, so I'm performing the spin on my hand, catching the hoop when it's down, entering the weave. I will show it to you now <laughs> this way. Okay, so hand spin up and down, up and down, up and down. And when the hoop is down, entering the weave. When the hoop is down, entering the weave. Okay, as you can see, I'm also transitioning the other way. So I'm going back into hand spin, which is quite easy because when you're going back from the weave, you just extend the fingers and continue the movement in here, okay? Let me show it to you to the closer camera. So I'm entering the weave, going back, extending the fingers. If you already are able to perform all the elements, let's combine it all together. So hand spin, prayer hands, hand spin, prayer hands, and entering the weave, okay? So hand spin. Prayer hands, hand spin. Go back to the initial hand and enter the weave. Let's go the other direction for those who spin on the left hand. Prayer hands, hand spin, prayer hands, hand spin, and entering the weave. Important thing, as you've noticed, I'm entering the weave on the side of my body because this is the natural direction of the flow of the hoop, okay? So, of the momentum of the hoop. If I would like to go from this plane into this plane, I will totally break the, the movement of the hoop. Of course, it is possible. However, if you are a beginner, I would recommend you to maintain the plane that you are in. So, if I'm spinning on a hand, towards this direction, in this plane, I would maintain my weave also in this plane. Okay, a lot of information. I really hope you get it and that it's clear. However, let me give you a short resume, hints and tips. What we've mastered today was a combination of tricks. A hand spin, how to begin it by swinging the hoop and giving it additional force to go up and down or pushing it or dropping it down from this position. Then spinning to the inner direction, so with the right hand to the left, with the left hand to the right, adding second hand really close one to another, prayer hands, then 
taking the, the first hand out, going back into the prayer hands and entering the weave from this position. And this combination is a part of a final combo that you will find in the next video. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me give you an additional hint, okay? I've mentioned already about the flat plane, so let me show it to you in the, towards the camera in this position, okay? If I'm spinning the hoop on my hand, it is moving in a certain vertical plane, okay? And you want to maintain this plane while entering the weave as well, okay? It is going towards the front, like the hoop is spinning towards the front to the camera, okay? And then continuing the movement, continuing the prayer hands and the second hand spin. Okay, if you need an additional hint, or maybe you have some question, or maybe somehow it is unclear to you, or maybe you would like me to uh, you would like to suggest me a video that I could grab for you that you need some explanation on another topic. Leave me a comment below. Okay, it's always a huge pleasure to me for me to read these comments and see that you are present and that you are watching this video. So also leave me a like button or subscribe or visit my social media if if you prefer other form of you know watching the the content okay i really hope you enjoyed the video and that you understood all of it and you, that you are already mastering it however if not give yourself time and patience and it will come with practice okay so see you in the next video it's been a pleasure